meeting will come to order. Roll call, please. <laughs> You want me to call or what? No, I want your name. Oh, Jean Seuss. Bob Brown. Jerry Spiat. Mary Clark. John Brigham. Mignon Murray. Brenda Buckett. Lillian Halpin. Cheryl Weston. And we have a citizen. Wayne Page. Thank you. An alien, did you say? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Keep it up, we will Mary. stand and do the flag. Yes. yet is our contract from um, the Executive Office of Elder Affairs for our formula grant which this year was supposed to be raised till ten dollars so they're still trying to settle the budget even now um, so hopefully it will be close to that ten dollars but we've not received our our contract yet saying that it is but um, they expect it will be close to that so as we have more information on that I will certainly make you aware um, director's report. I am happy to announce that we have hired our dementia educator who will be going out to businesses to talk about um, dementia and train them on how they can make their business more age friendly and more dementia friendly. And our um, new hire's name is Dorothy Milhoffer. So you'll see her around. She'll be here, but she'll also be out in the community once she's all set training businesses in earnest. So. Um, she brings a lot of um, enthusiasm and 10 years as a public relations director for a local college. Um, she has a lot of really good skills. I think she's going to really take to this very well and be a, a great advocate for us out in the community talking to all these businesses. And she's hit the ground running. She just started last week. Um, so you will be seeing her around the office. She'll be sharing space with people, as with outreach coordinators as they're out she'll share space there. I have a question. Mm -hmm. How is she being paid? She's being paid by a grant from the Math Council on Aging. So it's separate from our municipal budget, separate from our formula grant. It's a, it was a grant we received last year. We received two parts. So we received one in fiscal, um, the last fiscal year, to make the documents that we'll use for this training. And then we received $5,000 this year. So part of that grant is 250 hours of someone to go out and to do this. And how long is it for? So it has to be done by June of this, so that'll be the end of our fiscal year. And that'll be the end of her job. That'll be the end of her job. So she knows that she has 250 hours and she's de deciding how she wants to divvy those up based on the businesses we've given her that we want to try to go out and train. And then after that, that position goes it's away. Gone. It's just for the grant funded okay. portion. Thank you. And uh, so I've attended a couple of MCOA meetings since I saw you last, one which was on um, a membership meeting that was right next door in Worcester. They were talking about um, a new nonprofit that discusses um, end of life paperwork issues. This woman started a nonprofit to um, really help people do the paperwork necessary, get their health care proxies, their wills set. Um, so we'll be looking into that and making sure that outreach workers are aware of it. That's a good resource for them if they have a member of the community asking about those issues. Um, they also talked about, had a lawyer speaking about um, social media, Facebook and Twitter and all of that for municipalities to use. And she had some very good guidelines about um, what to do and what not to do and 
and what's public record on a, on a, on a Facebook page and all of that. Um, so we'll be taking that into consideration because as part of the dementia awareness program, we will probably introduce a Facebook page so we can have that information out there as well. Um, the RMV near me, we've mentioned this a couple of times, the staff called several different um, councils on aging who are participating. There's about 60 now around the state who are participating in the RMV near me. So to recap, that's a program where the, the registry of motor vehicles allows councils on aging with a little bit of training to help people who um, don't have computers at home and can do some of those transactions with them at the center um, because otherwise they'd be going to the, the registry if they can't do it themselves on their computer. So we've, um, we've reached out to several. They have been a mixed bag of how involved they are. No one has gotten a, um, an overwhelming response. They've been able to help some people, but they don't feel like it's been too taxing on them. You know, they haven't had dozens of people showing up every day to, you know, to do this. The uh, AAA has got a program whereby you can renew your license and take your picture mm -hmm. Could we get into that too? It's not as um, comprehensive as what um, AAA do. It does. So AAA, I, I think the one in Auburn is supposed to have it soon, but hasn't had it yet. I don't know if they have it now. No? People are shaking their heads. So some um, AAAs do. You can renew your license there. You can take your picture. They can do all that. This is kind of a step below that. So this is nothing you couldn't do from your house if you were computer literate, but it's a way to help um, seniors and residents who may not have that access, you know, or at least even even getting them ready with the right document before they go to the DMV so that they can just go through that process faster. So we're looking into doing that. We have to get ourselves trained, but we're reviewing um, the information we got from the other towns um, who are participating. Um, the program survey uh, went out this month in the, um, the newsletter, so you all should have one in front of you. So we changed the format a little bit, but all the inf same information that you all saw should still be there. Um, we've had about, I think, 12 responses so far. It's only been out a week. So that's, you know, please encourage people to, um, and if you haven't yourself, to fill out the program survey that's in the October edition of the Flagtown Flyer and get it back to us. We'd really like to know what people um, are looking for. You know, we'll, if we see a significant response from, you know, an area that we don't have anything, we can certainly build that into our schedule. So um, please, you know, if you haven't yourself, take time to do it and um, encourage your friends to, um, to fill one out as well. And if we've had a good um, response by next meeting, you'll have a report from us on on where that is um, and what the responses are saying to us. Um, the rear door and the dining room door, I just saw the gentleman this morning, they're up working at Town Hall. Um, they assure me they'll be here soon. Uh, they say we're next, but they, you know, sometimes a project comes up where something is leaking or something is, you know, an emergency and they get sent there. But they are, we are still high on their list and they are anticipating coming to do it soon. Um, review of lighting. I did meet with the electrician, as I think I said last um, meeting. He has asked for a, a few additional information, but he's not provided me with a quote yet, but I will follow up with him. Um, the lines in the parking lot have been um, repainted, so they should be slightly easier to see. And the cracks in the parking lot will be filled soon. Um, they should be out any time now. To, they have a machine that fills the cracks in parking lots. So instead of doing guesting. Who, uh, who paid for the uh, payment? It came um, out of the town hall town budget. Hall. It didn't come out of our budget. Um, so they should be here soon to do that. Um, they had anticipated coming, but I assume some weather-related thing or something prevented them. So they should be here. Uh, the senior flu clinic is tomorrow from 9 to noon. We've had... Um, about 40 people who have said that they plan on attending. Um, I'm cer certain we will get more tomorrow, but certainly spread the word if you have um, you know, friends or neighbors who need to get their flu shot still. Uh, the Halloween flower arranging that's scheduled for this Friday still only has one person signed up, so unfortunately I think we're going to have to cancel that yet again and perhaps not reschedule this time. Um, you know, Not everything that sounds like a good idea works, but um, people did enjoy it in the past. Um, the Shine presentation, which is Monday, October 17th at 10, that's when our Shine counselor, Pat Morris, will come and he'll speak about um, the changes in healthcare for this year. 
So if you um, may have gotten letters from your healthcare companies or Medicare or Medicaid saying you know changes are coming, open enrollment is coming. Um, so Pat has probably spent this last week, I think, at his training where they tell him all the changes that are happening to plans. So he'll be available that day to do a general presentation and then he has extra appointments for people who want to come and see him individually and discuss their specific needs. Um, Johnny Vincent, who's going to be performing um, songs such as Tom Jones, is also coming Monday at 1 o'clock. He was rescheduled for the summer. Um, I can say that was probably a good thing. We've had a much stronger response. Um, he had a work conflict, unfortunately, and couldn't come when he had scheduled. He's doing that show for us for free. Um, but we've had about 50 people as of this morning um, sign up for that. Um, RMV Shifting Gears is an educational driving program. Um, they don't put you through any kind of evaluation or anything like that. It's just literally some uh, Michelle Alex from the DMV will be here and she will talk about there's been a lot of changes over the years to rules that you know we might not know and, and safety for senior drivers. Uh, the meals program have their annual Halloween party scheduled for Thursday October 27th uh, so register for that if you haven't. They have a great time. They have a costume contest and it's they have a real lot of fun. Uh, Senator Moore's Turkey Dinner is scheduled for Monday, November 21st at noon. We're taking sign-ups currently. Uh, and FASCA has um, scheduled their holiday party, which is also on our regular agenda just to announce that as well. December 12th at 1 o'clock. Work. I'm working. <laughs> On the newsletter, um, 80%, I got 80% done for November. Okay. It, there is um, more stuff. More stuff? There's more stuff coming, and I don't know where to put it. And someone told me where to put it. <laughs> um, they wouldn't say that to you, Paul. I still have the front cover to do. At, uh, the Dementia Friendly Educator is working with Mignon to finish that up. Mm -hmm. That's almost ready to be given to me. Uh, there are five uh, presentations and another one just asked me last week. The Computer Tech wants to do, uh, do a presentation on advising people what items to buy up for Christmas. And he wants to uh, know if I can get that in there. Um, we work miracles with this newsletter, believe me. <laughs> well, you uh, know, Bob, that um, there is a deadline, and if they don't put in to you by the deadline, tell them they'll have to wait till next month. I do. Okay. But we haven't reached the deadline. I know. <laughs> but, well, believe me, I, I do. Okay. <laughs> um, so that's it for the newsletter. That's it. Thank you. Furniture update. So we all met um, Joan, Joyce, uh, Cheryl, Brenda, and I at Home Depot so we could actually look at blinds and um, we also received the extra um, furniture samples of fabrics that we were hoping for. Um, so I'll pass these around. Cheryl seen them, but William see them and pass them. So I'm happy to report that the group um, now has ones that they like. Um, so they have found a fabric that they like for, um, to, to, to recap, they were looking at a um, coffee table for this area here, as well as a um, wing back chair and a love seat, as well as a glider. The group. Who was the chairman? We did not have a chairman. I apologize for not picking one out. We all agree. Okay. But you still need a chairman. All right. Uh, Brenda. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, would you like to vote for Brenda to be the chairman of the furniture committee? Yes. Okay. Would you like to give the report, Brenda? I second no. it. <laughs> uh, so they, the, the one that is... Um, kind of uh, maroon and gold, that is the rocker. And the gold 
is oh, those two pieces there, the chair and the love seat. Oh, so it piece of wood is the and the wood is the um, the coffee base, table. the coffee table, oh, we're have this, uh, okay. and the bottoms of those so um, that Jean has, the chair and the um, mm -hmm. love seat. You can get the um, the wood, same wood. So if the council is happy, we can go ahead and order those items. We have the the money in the budget to do so, and they are the subcommittee is now happy with all the samples. I'd like to make a motion that we order those items. I second. Need a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any discussion? Uh, yes. And the border come down. I know. And the border come that down. That was voted on from the chairman. So, yeah. I know. I'm just saying. Okay. It should come down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is in our, our long range um, mm -hmm. okay. list with the DPW that the border come down, but I'll see if we can get that elevated at all on the, the list. But that, that is in their map. Oh. I know our, our gentlemen are so thorough that they, if they take it down, they end up repainting because they just, they do good work. So if there's any, you know, discrepancy, yeah. they really like to do that. That's what happened in the mm -hmm. other room, but I will, um, I'll move that up and see if I can get okay. it done, Brenda, because they'll be, be here soon. Okay. I'm a fan. Um, <laughs> you can see. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Maybe Cheryl and I will just kind of nudge it a little bit. Um, so they also found a blind that they, they liked. They're vertical blinds like these, but they have, um, instead of the kind of right angles that are at the top of the balances on these, the new ones are um, rounded. So they don't, sometimes on these, part of it falls down with age or the front piece falls off or this one is all one piece at the top so there's less of that happening. The ones, Shell, what would you call the color? It's kind of a off-white ecru, probably. Ecru, ecru. Beige. With a, you know, a slight, it's not as, it's not solid, it's kind of got a pattern. I'll try to get a sample for you. So you can open to the, let the yeah. light in or close. They're just like these, okay. but a new, you know, newer version Good. and a different, um, instead of the pinky tones, we kept in mind that we thought the border would um, hopefully okay. soon be coming down. Okay. Um, so it's just kind of a, a white off whitey crew color. Um, so again, we don't have the money in the budget for that yet, but we have scheduled them to come and they're going to measure all our windows to double check what the price would be. Okay. So hopefully by next meeting, we will have a, a quote, an idea of how much that would cost, and we can see where we can um, do that from. Okay, I, st I still have a question. Mm -hmm. Who takes care of these blinds? Now, these are going to be the same thing, and the whole thing before was to keep the light in, and to keep the cold out. The windows are still open. So these blinds are, are what we're getting. We're getting the same thing, which I am for, yep. but it's difficult. Diff purpose is being defeated because these are left open. Well, the reason I right. had looked into the ones that were heating and cooling before right. was because we had money left in the formula grant and you can only purchase blinds through the formula grant that have that purpose that are, are for uh, you couldn't purchase the ones we're purchasing now with that right. money. I understand that, but are these blinds that we're getting going to be left open like these are now with the windows not covered? So they, that's the whole thing was getting the blinds was to keep the cold out. Well, and these blinds these, aren't going to keep the cold out. These are but, different kind of blinds. I know, but it's still, if you close those, then it keeps the cold out, yeah. but these windows are still all left open. Well, they need to be closed for when, you know, we have a presentation and we use a PowerPoint or we have the movie. And right now, these have aged to a degree that a lot of them have fallen off. So when you close them, they don't, you know, cover all the the light. I understand, but when the new ones come up, can they can they be left open, mm -hmm. shut like the, I don't know okay. how to explain, yeah. without yeah. being left open, pushed to the side with bare windows? I personally leave it to any group that's using the room to have the blinds as they want. I um, think that should be changed because the right. ones that keep doing that mm -hmm. are the ones that are damaging the blinds. You should just have one person in control of opening and closing yeah. those blinds. That's right. We certainly can, but I mean, quite honestly, there's groups in and out every day, and they're not that same point person if we tell the group, you know, at the Leave beginning, if we say that they're going to, all of a sudden, that group will be in there and the sun will be in from one side. You know, we can leave them all the same way in the morning. We can leave them all the same way at night. Um, but they're meant for a certain amount of use. These have just kind of gone past their right. their prime. That's all. I, mean. I think that it is abused when everybody and his brother can mm -hmm. just, just do what they want. want. 
Yeah. Right. And some people pull hard, some people, mm, yeah. you know. So I think that uh, may be a notice to the groups. We could. We could certainly put a notice in the newsletter. We could certainly put a notice <laughs> <Yeah>. in, uh, <laughs> it, you know, we could certainly tell the groups. But I, I think our... I think our current problem is just amount of abuse. Um, you know, I actually pushed the woman at Home Depot pretty hard, actually, because I was like, these ones we have, we have these, and they're not, you know, I, I several times actually said, they've fallen down, and they've, and she's like, how old are they? And I was like, well. And if you have more people fooling with these blinds, yeah. like even yeah. the up and down, they were nice, but... Yeah. People just up, swish it up, swish well, it down, and they don't care, and it's cockeyed, and before you yeah. know it, it's ripped. Yeah, well, we, we certainly can send out a group to them all when they are, you know, installed, saying, exactly. these are new, let's respect them. If you need assistance with them, please ask. Please, you know, if mm -hmm. you can leave them the way they are, please just, do. We just put up a note, yeah. leave windows alone. But, I mean, quite honestly, though, Brenda, if you, can, you know, if we came in for this meeting, and we weren't us, and there was light pouring through, and it was in your eyes, I don't think it's unreasonable for them to shut it. You know, I think they should be able to, you know, or if a presenter <coughs> it needs it for darkness, uh, you know, I have no problem with them shutting it. I don't know what the council's opinion is, but I think each person, each group is different and the sun moves so much. Can't you have somebody come in and pay attention before each scheduled well, even, even between the program, though, I mean, you could start out the program and be all right, and then the sun starts going down. But if down. they have a notice, they will remember, don't touch the blinds. Well, I, I think it's unrealistic to ask no one to touch the blinds, but we can certainly send out a, a notice to everyone to be respectful of it, and if they can, to get a staff person. They but, even do that at the church up at North America Modest in their brand new hall. They yeah. have brand new blinds that go up and down, and you cannot touch their blinds. Yeah. I, I don't again I don't know what the opinion of the rest I of the group is. But I think it you know You know the thing that I was adults. concerned about was now mm -hmm. this this room over here is where you're gonna get the new furniture. So you're gonna get the new blinds. Mm -hmm. Now to me when the blinds are down like that, like behind Mary, even if you open them straight like that or tilt them, it gives a more homey effect. You're gonna yeah. have all Homey furniture in there and blah windows sure. that are wide open over there. Well, I mean, it we defeats the whole purpose. You want something that's homey. Well, that's homey. Well, I think that this area is a less a less used area. So, however you want the blinds, we can make sure it's that way in the morning. We can make sure it's that way. You know, when well, we what's everybody else's opinion? It's not just I'm me. agreeing with you. I think How many I think agree we'll, with Brenda? Yeah. Raise your hand. Nobody? I, I have a, 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 just an opinion. I think if the blinds are left like this, right. the majority of people, if they want them closed, are simply going to turn the... And it's probably going to be a spool instead of a, a thing. I don't mm -hmm. know how they do them anymore. We didn't look at that. Yeah. But the majority of people aren't going to open them like that. They're either going to have them this way no, and, or they're going to close them. So the wear and tear on them going back and forth, I think, is kind of a mute point. And, um, mm -hmm. I just don't think, I, I mean, and I agree with you, if you're going to have a presentation, it's too bright in here or the sun is shining, then you simply close them. But it, if you want daylight, just open them. You don't have to open them wide like that, which is that's taking my, all the way that's my, that's, that's my that's point. It. Right, you don't have to open them wide like that. Right. It's like a fishbowl here. Right. Yeah, but the reason they're open wide is because they're not functioning properly, right? Exactly. They're, they're probably broken. They probably don't close. I mean, I think it'll all go away with the blinds when mm -hmm. install them. Well, that's hope so. Well, we don't even have them yet, so I would say, you know, we don't we don't have the money for them yet. We don't know how much they are. Yet. <laughs> Brenda, you are very passionate for blinds, and I respect your passion, but we don't even have them yet. <laughs> All right. Community um, service. Oh, excuse me. I have one question. What is it? Um, what, what's going to happen to the furniture that's... So we have to go through a process where we um, list out all of our information, our, all of the um, all of the furniture we are no longer using to make it surplus. So we literally have to go through and list anything that is surplus as surplus and then offer it to other town departments whether they need it. The selectmen have to actually make it surplus. There's a whole process that has to go. So we will um, we will go through that process. I just haven't started it yet since we've been not having ordered it yet. 
Did you want to put a bit in your home bar? No, you can't take it home. <laughs> no, I, don't I would love it if you could. Yeah, we're, that. we're trying to downsize. Okay. 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 All right. You done? Community Service Award. Anyone have anybody in mind? Well, I do, but I don't want to mention it on TV. Okay. <laughs> well, why don't we table that and have a discussion yeah. later. Mm -hmm. And we'll bring it up again next month. Is that agreeable? Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. I need a motion to table. A surprise. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Is that something you'd need to do at an executive session, perhaps, before Probably. the next Probably. board meeting? Because yeah. we can't have a, right. we just can't have right. a discussion. We have right. to right. go through a process. But we can, Especially. between us, and then do that next month. Okay. Executive session in the beginning, and then we'll open the meeting. And then we'll have the camera and the voice cut off at that meeting. Session. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good idea. Mm -hmm. All right, citizen comments. I think the idea with um, the blind situation about people have to go to the director or somebody else to open up the open is, is ridiculous. Can you talk louder? <coughs> okay. <coughs> I think having one person opening, I'll do it this way, it's easier. Open and close the um, blinds, I think it's totally ridiculous. Um, and the second thing is, if you're going to do something like that, you're going to have to hire a police officer so <laughs> they don't um, violate the law or the rule that you come up with. I mean, people use it for different reasons and different ideas, but like this woman was saying here, if you leave them open like that, that's fine. But I mean, it's just to sit there and say you, you can't open the blinds is just, okay. I don't agree with it. Okay, so noted. Um, I have something that I need to bring up. Um, in the past, we have had invited either the third or fourth grade students to come up to do a program. Mm -hmm. I am suggesting that we have one for Veterans Day and for you to call and set it up so that they will come and have a little program and ask the teacher that you talked to, if they could make cards for the veterans simply with a flag on it, something patriotic, and inside say, thank you for your service. What had they done before when they came up? They had a program set up and they played the piano and sang. Okay. So, yeah. But we should do that. We should connect with the schools. Sure. Okay. We can certainly reach out, whether they'll be able to this year in this time frame, you know, I don't know, but we can certainly reach out. The other thing you got to find out is, are they going to bus them up here, because they did that last time. Yeah. They, yeah. they were in charge of the bus. Yeah, sure. And then hopefully it will be in, a, in the morning, yeah. a program in the morning, and if there's any programs here that have to be, you know, just continue for that, just that yeah. time. That would be great. And I'm going to also ask FASCA if they will purchase some little flags so we can give them little flags on the way out the door. That's a nice idea. That's a good idea. A real good idea. And this will give them their incentive for a patriotic program in school and us a, yep. a connection with them. Sure. We can certainly reach out. Again, I don't know the school's timetable, but we can, uh, we can find out. Yeah, yeah, I can talk to some. Oh, good. I was going to say so, maybe Wayne can get involved. Wayne, if you would sure. like to do that, that would be great. That would be great. No problem. And, and do it yesterday, because Bob's doing the newsletter. What? <laughs> I got something for you for the newsletter. <laughs> um, oh. yeah. I need a motion. Oh. I need a motion. We got, we got one more. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, I would just, I would, I would like to uh, offer something. I think possibly if you were where it's in the morning, if you could offer a coffee and donut or a pastry sure. or something, that's an incentive for people to come up. It is. Right. So, yeah, it is. Okay. So, okay. Now I need a motion to accept what I made a motion of. So, I make in a motion Jersey. to accept it. I'll and I need a second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? What was the motion? 
Um, Joan. Joan made it. <laughs> to, accept, it? to accept her idea about the program for Kamehameha. Oh, okay. 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 And, and then Joan. Joyce that comes made a second and every... Mary seconded. Okay, yeah. Mary seconded Mary second. it and yeah. everybody said yes. So voted. Yeah. Okay, we have one, one more thing. Uh, the Vasca Christmas Party. So again, it was in my director's report as well, but after our meeting last time, we went to FAFSCA and said, would you like to do the Christmas event for us again this year? And they voted to do that. Um, so they scheduled it for Monday, December 12th at 1 o'clock, and they're going to have the same Santa Claus they had last year and the same entertainment. Those are both um, coming, and so we will, you know, okay. obviously publicize that as well. Are there any other comments? Yep. Minyanga, you're going to get the information on the veteran kids coming? Wayne is going to work on it. It, finalized. it okay. will, we, we don't know what the school, you know, if they can do it or not, but we will reach out to them as soon as we can, Bob. Okay. And, uh, <coughs> Wayne, will you give it to Minyang? <coughs> we'll be in Minyang to take care of We want to try to get it sure. done in November around Veterans Day. When is the deadline? Right. So it may not go in the newsletter. It may not go in the newsletter. Yeah, we no, might have to. Well, well, yeah, yeah, we might be an inside yeah. insert. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. But then we okay. just would perhaps have some things that we'd have to cancel that we wouldn't have canceled. But we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll yeah. work on it. Okay. Anything else? I need a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn this okay. meeting. Second. Okay. <laughs> Joyce made a motion to adjourn. Mary made a motion and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. The next meeting shall be Tuesday, November 8th at 10 o'clock a.m.